The Blaze Radio Network. Glad you made it back, everybody. The telephone number is 888-900-3393. Catch up with me on Twitter as well, at Chris Salcedo TX. I want to get right out of the phone line. I was pretty excited to have this guest on because it is so rare to hear about a company that is thriving in the era of Obama, but this company is. Jack Long is the CEO of Cookies by Design, original gourmet cookie a bouquet company and the nation's largest cookie gift delivery company. Jack, welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show here on The Blaze. Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm doing fantastically, sir. Thank you very much. And before we get into some of the politics that I, I wanted to ask you directly, I did want to this, – this, this struck me because I, I actually tried this diet out, and I'm still wondering whether I should continue. It's this gluten-free diet, and there's a – I guess – and who knew that October was Celiac Awareness Month, which is basically – you know, you've got to be aware of the adverse effects that gluten have on some, some people's systems. And you guys at Cookies by Design have come up with a way uh, to beat this, right? kind of new to us that this was such a large market. Um, uh, we found out that it's a $4 billion market currently, uh, and 46% of that $4 billion is in baked goods. Uh, unfortunately for these poor souls, and, and there's a lot of them, there's 2 million uh, diagnosed celiacs in the U.S. currently, uh, and indeed there's 18 million U.S. citizens who we found out they're gluten intolerant. That's 6% of the population. Uh, and these poor souls, they, they haven't to get used to eating cardboard because a lot of these gluten <laughs> uh, free products are, are pretty base. Um, yeah. So we had some fun taking our recipes and then creating a gluten free product that we know will delight some of these folks who, who have previously suffered. So we're pretty excited about our launch in uh, actually it's October the 1st. Yeah, I remember when you guys rolled out. It probably ages me as you guys are celebrating 30 years, and it's been onward and upward since Cookies by Design, uh, you know, came on to the into the public consciousness. I wanted to ask you if um, you guys, and I can't imagine a company that now of your size hasn't addressed this, the impact of Obamacare on what has been. Uh, a success story, which is Cookies by Design. Have you guys done uh, d done the numbers? Have the actuaries come up with the impact you guys will feel? Well, I, I wish that we could, Chris. I mean, the thing is, that as a CEO, I'm used to doing a 12, 24, 60 month plan. Uh, it's, it's good diligence on my business. And unfortunately, when we reach out, we find that these guys don't even know what's going to happen in three months' time. What we do know is that taxes are going to go up on premiums 3.5% and that we know that our young uh, workforce that we have here are going to be penalized because they're young, uh, whereas previously that was a benefit of having a young workforce. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, because the folks, could, folks if, if you're younger, you typically don't buy a lot of insurance because you're young and healthy and you don't need it, right? Yeah, and, and the more youngsters you have on your, your workforce, it brings the premiums down because they help subsidize uh, you know, those poor souls that do have issues. But you know, the, the one thing I'm just amazed at is there's no outreach. If this is such a marvelous piece of legislation, why isn't it being communicated? And then my suspicion is that they don't want to communicate the detail because it impacts us negatively. Uh, and what we found is that we, we speak to our insurance company, we speak to our broker, we speak to our healthcare company, and, and really what they're saying is, we know it's going to be bad, but we don't know how bad it's going to be. And, and that's just not sustainable for any business that's trying to write up a plan for 2014, let alone 2015, 2016. Yeah, this is, this is my commentary, and I know, I'm not going to ask Jack, Jack to comment on it, but uh, they, these folks have had three years to get Obamacare in place. It's such a big, complicated law. Uh, next Tuesday is when it rolls out, and as you, as you heard Mr. Long testify here, that, that basically they have no clue, not even the, ins the people whose business it is to do insurance has any clue what the administration has cooked up. My guest is Jack Long. He's the CEO of Cookies by Design, uh, a company now that's celebrating its 30, 30th anniversary. They're launching a gluten-free line because, as you heard, uh, any good businessman wants to, to partake in and find markets and that's exactly what uh, what Cookies by Design is doing. And, and Jack, uh, what what uh, now aside from the gluten free stuff, do you guys have a? I don't know. Uh, we're coming up on the holidays. We're coming up on 
on uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving and on Christmas. You guys have a, maybe a sneak peek you can give uh, our listeners here as to what uh, a product that maybe you guys are going to roll out this year to celebrate the 30th? Yeah, I wanted to kind of save this for you, Chris, because uh, I know that you have a, a loyal listenership. So we, we're just about to launch for, in time for Christmas, uh, a sugar-free line. We've done gluten-free now. Uh, sugar-free is, is something else that we, we believe that we have to do to, to help out some of the, you know, the people who aren't able to take sugar in their diet. So that's something else we're going to be coming up with rather shortly. Uh, yeah. Go on, sorry. No, I was going to say, and I guess it goes without saying that, you know, the, the, the festive and, uh, I, I know, cute designs that uh, these, these, these cookie bouquets have become famous for, the, the change in formulation, uh, either gluten-free or sugar-free, that's not, that's not going to change the, the, the fantastic presentation you guys put out, right? No, no. Um, we, we pride ourselves. We have proprietary recipes. Uh, our original owner, Gwen Willite, uh, it's her 30th anniversary, really. In 1983, uh, she came up with a recipe. She came up with an idea uh, that's grown into this wonderful business that, we, that I am now privileged to run. So I just wanted to say, Chris, you know, 30 years ago, times were desperate, a little bit now economically. 1983, I, I was a disciple of Thatcher. You had Reagan over here. And then Gwen, had a, she was a divorced single mother. She got in a car from Arkansas, drove to Dallas, created this idea and grew it into a business really on our own bootstraps and you know that's that's the kind of self-reliance that we, we come to take for granted sometimes in this country and we should celebrate it you know we're 30 years old because someone had an idea 30 years ago and didn't look for help she did it herself we have a wonderful product we personalize we customize cookies we have great fun in, in delivering joy to our customers but it's only because somebody had the courage to do something 30 years ago and in hard times and it's hard times now but you know you've got to have some faith in yourself sometimes and you've got to have some gumption and, and that's what keeps this place going well, it's a fantastic product, a great company. Jack Long, the CEO of Cookies by Design, the original gourmet cookie bouquet. Uh, Jack, I appreciate your time here on the Chris Alcedo Show. Hey, have a wonderful weekend, Chris. Thank you. You do the same.